Today, for the first time ever on the Epic Storm, we're playing Legacy Learn. It's gotten some amazing upgrades recently, including Orcish Bowmasters. Let's go check out the deck list. I have not played Legacy Alluren since Legacy was actually Type 1.5. That is a true statement. It's been 20 years. Tonight, I'm changing that. I'm playing Alluren again. Back in the day, you used to have to win with things like Carrion Feeder, and you would play like Raven Familiar to get cards, and how far the deck has come since then. So how this deck works is that you want to play a 4-mana enchantment named Alluren, which allows you to cast creatures with mana value 3 or less for free at instant speed. From there, you have Cavern Harpy. When this enters the battlefield, you get to return a blue or black creature from the battlefield to your hand, and you can pay one life and return it to your hand itself. From there, you have things like Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. So you end up plus two life, you get to draw a card, you get to put a land onto the battlefield. That's pretty good. And eventually, you can Orcish Bowmasters your opponent for infinite damage, you know, that sort of thing. And what a level up these cards have been to the deck instead of things like Carrion Feeder or having to play Essence Warden or any of those bad cards that the deck used to play even 10 years ago. And now you just have all good cards. You have Ice Fang Kawadal, Baleful Strix, Bowmasters, Leovold, Uro, Endurance. Like this deck is a legitimate good deck now where Mike bug control with a combo finish this deck might actually not be combo enough for the epic storm but i wanted to play it today and hopefully you can appreciate that so i'll see you in the first round don't go anywhere and once again i say this in like every video but if you have any thoughts comments questions suggestions whatever put those in the comment section down below i would appreciate that all right without any further ado match number one coming right up if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Time for match number one. We are on the play. Sure, we'll try this. It's a very fair hand, I'll say that. I'm a little bit nervous that it's too fair, but we'll see how it goes. All right, polluted delta, and we will pass the turn. Our opponent plays a thought sees. Yeah, that resolves. I imagine they're taking the endurance here, but we'll see. The Cavern Harpy is a pretty big red flag that we're playing Alluren. Otherwise, this hand just looks like a fair deck, but Cavern Harpy does tell our opponent that we are playing the green enchantment combo. And they take the Cavern Harpy, really? That's odd. We draw another Thought Seize Bug. It exists. Don't You can't tell me otherwise. All right, grab the basic island. Let's play a Baleful Strix. Leovold, okay, we just need to find land number three now. Opponent plays a Bloodstained Mire. Ooh, that hurts. Let's attack with our bird. Our opponent goes to 17 and we'll pass. And step, they cast Brainstorm. And a Scalding Tarn. This looks like Ant, but I'm not really sure yet. But my gut tells me they're Ad Nauseam Tendrils. Why did I think Cavern Harpy had Flash? All right, mistake number one of the league, that at least that I've caught. All right, we're just going to untap. We find an Uro. That's awkward. I could be replaying a Baleful Strix right now, getting one card deeper. Mistakes do cascade. That is a truth of Magic the Gathering. We'll play the Cavern Harpy. Our opponent is activating a Bloodstained Mire in response. Volcanic Island. Orcish Bowmasters, so they are not a combo deck. Interesting. Okay. And now the Cavern Harpy will resolve, and then it will pick itself back up. We will pass the turn. They have land number four, four cards remaining in their hand. Another Brainstorm. They activate Scalding Tarn. And grab a Badland. So this is just Grix's control, I believe. Liliana, the last hope. Sure. Come on, deck, I just want land number three. No such luck. Wow. Um, I don't know what to do here. Discard Ice Fang Quaddle, maybe? They're attacking for two. And they plus their Liliana. 
I guess we'll main phase our own copy of Orcish Bowmasters. This looks like it might be a hardcast copy of Force of Will. Yep, you got it. And another Thoughtseize. They have two cards remaining. Goodbye, Leovold. They attack for two, will fall to 13 life. They plus Liliana again, up to six loyalty. Hiroteku consumes all. The chim that deals with one mana value permanence on the first chapter, second chapter, it exiles all graveyards, and then on the third chapter, you transform it into a creature that kills me pretty quickly. Another Bowmasters. I guess we'll play it. I mean, a land would have been nice at any point this game, but I don't know. We will now pass the turn. The thing about using the Orcish Bowmasters... Ooh! I did not realize that it would... Ex oh, that worked out perfectly. Their, their uh, saga exiled their own Bowmasters, so they couldn't return it with Liliana. I love that. Boom. They have two cards remaining in hand. We did not draw land three. Deck, I am begging you. Quit punishing me. I'm trying to win a game of Magic the Gathering here. We will pass the turn. And now it becomes a creature that's terrifying. I need to draw a green source. Holy moly, we've done it. I'm going to pass and then we can abrupt decay it on their turn. Uh, maybe I should have killed the Liliana. That was dumb. Well, they're giving me the choice right now. You know what? We can kill the Lily and then I'll kill this next turn. I punted and then our opponent threw the game back to us. So I'll take it. Play mistake counter on either two or three now. I mean, up to your discretion, really. <laughs> it's only the first game. Our opponent's casting something here. They're trying to cast something. I don't know what that something is. That's right. You die, Liliana. So we are going to take some damage from their saga creature. It just became a 4-4, four, four, and then they're going to play Ponder. They did not shuffle their library. We draw land number four. Holy moly. We will pass the turn. We are an alluring away from victory now. And step they play Brazen Borrower. I'm going to allow that to happen. They cast another copy of Ponder. Once again, they did not shuffle. Inside of combat, I will destroy the creature that will kill me the fastest. So we're leaving them with the Brazen Borrower. I do have Endurance to flash in next turn. I could also cast the Uro. But if I play the Uro, I lose the ability to win with it if I draw a Lurin. So I don't know how much I love that, but it is a decision we could make. Land number five. Less ideal at this stage in the game. I will play that in case I need to hard cast a Force of Will. Our opponent's going to be drawing up to four cards. I have to imagine they have some removal in their hand as the Grixis deck. So I'm not expecting my Endurance to live. All right, so they're going to attack into my Endurance. Let's grab a Snow-Covered Forest. We will cast Endurance. They're going to hard cast Force of Will. Interesting. I would like to Force of Will back, exiling a Cavern Harpy. And now they're forcing. Pitching a Force, they have one card left. All right, so I'm going to go to two life here. But if we were to draw exactly a learn, we win the game. We do not. Instead, we draw land number six. Okay, so let's play the Uro Titan of Nature's Wrath. We will draw a card and gain three life. Put the polluted delta on the battlefield. Uro is sacrificed. And I'm going to brainstorm now while our opponent can't work as bow masters me. And they have cling to dust for the Uro. That's devastating. All right, brainstorm. We did find two pretty good ones here. I wonder what the play is. Do I put back? I mean, I'm definitely putting back the polluted delta. But then it is, what do we do? Like, do we keep the Alluren? Or do I keep Cavern Harpy and try to gain some value? Probably not. We are short two Cavern Harpies at this point. So I feel like we have, I should put the Alluren back. Our opponent has one card. And a cling to dust. They're going to attack. We'll, inside of attackers, we'll fetch down to four. Grabbing a bayou. And we're going to flash in our Ice Fang Coatl. They drew another Force of Will? No way. They've used four Force of Wills already, so it's not a Force of Will. This must be the escape on cling to dust. 
Looking for exactly Orcish Bowmasters? Yep, that's exactly what it is. Also, maybe I don't know what I signed myself up for with this league. This is only game one and we're 20 minutes in. All right, or it looks like our Ice Fang will resolve. We can draw a card. Another land. We're flooding at this point. We're going to block the Brazen Borrower. That leaves our opponent has one card left in their hand, but we have two duds. Baleful Strix was a great draw here. We'll play that. Triggers. Blue black. Looks like I'm short a color to play Cavern Harpy this turn, so I'll fetch down to three. Grab Underground Sea. Play Cavern Harpy. And now we will return the Baleful Strix. And then we'll play the Strix. Okay. Another Ice Fang. Okay. Our opponent has one card in hand and they're about to drop to number two. Brainstorm. Plague Engineer. Uh-oh. Yeah. That is not good for me. They named Beast, which will kill Cavern Harpy. I have one Cavern Harpy left in our deck for the combo win. I can still win by attacking with Uro a lot. Speaking of the devil, Uro Titan of Pain in the Butt. Hiya. That brings us up to six. And we drew a forcible to protect the Uro. I love it. And now we will escape Uro immediately to not have to consider the cling to dust in our opponent's graveyard. And now we'll just exile some cards. The Uro will trigger once again. We draw Misty. I don't even know if we have fetchables, but I do have, you know, a couple pretty large creatures. I feel like we are in control of this game right now. Chase the Mind Sculptor. That is going to eat a Force of Will. That was a card I was not expecting to have to answer. I mean, I still think we're favored right now, but it could be better. Let's begin the beats. Swing better, better. Swing. Aluren was a good draw. They're going to block our Uro. And then they'll take one. The escape on Cling to Dust costs four. Our opponent does not have the mana to do that at the moment. We'll fetch down to 10, get the last fetchable. And then we'll escape Uro again. And our opponent concedes the game with 10 minutes left on their clock. I'm the control deck. Come on. Get out of here. All right. Enough trash talk. Next game. So we're facing Grix's control. I think I probably want Carpet of Flowers. The Abrupt Decays didn't seem great to me, but maybe they're fine. I do think that like these creatures are not very good against Orcish Bowmasters, so maybe we don't want all eight. I feel like they're probably some of the worst cards in the matchup. Excuse me. I'm not sure if we like or dislike Endurance, which is kind of funny. I do think it's like pretty good on the beatdown plan. It doesn't care about Bowmasters. I'm going to board out Baleful Strix. I think I'm going to keep the Ice Fang Quaddles. And if I'm boarding in Carpet, am I allowed to board down on a land? Let's try boarding out one land. Sure, this hand seems great. Keep. Polluted Delta. They search out an Underground Sea and Thoughtseize. You got it. They have 10 minutes to win two games as Grixis control. This is going to be very tough for them. They take our Ice Fang Quaddle. I think they've recognized that they only have 10 minutes to win. And taking Ice Fang makes a lot of sense. We draw Carpet of Flowers, which is an all-star in this matchup. We'll play the Birds of Paradise effect right now, but hopefully it becomes the Soul Ring or even better. And then we will cast Ponder. I think we want the Aluren. Okay. Another thought sees. Goodbye, Uro. Okay. We cannot play Aluren this turn, but what I can do is cast Brainstorm and then fetch with the Verdant Catacombs on top of my dock. Looks like they're going to blast me here. Oh no, it resolved. Okay. Let's get rid of these two lands. We'll pass. Land number three from our opponent into Narset. You got it. In response to their activation, we're going to flash in Orcish's Bowmasters. We'll grab Underground Sea. No, I should grab Bayou. Play the Bowmasters. We'll ping the Narset. Surgical Extraction, so they can exile my Uro. And they do exactly that. If we were to draw Cavern 
<clears throat> excuse me, Cavern Harpy, we do have a win on board because we have a higher life total than our opponent. But we did not. Let's attack the Narset. I'm not going to play the Allurin. We don't know what's in our opponent's hands, and I'm not going to give them the ability to play creatures for free. I can't even use this Allurin right now, so why would I do that? We will fetch. Grab a basic. Ponder. Let's attack. Hiya. Our opponent with their own Orcish Bowmasters. Am I crazy for wanting to counter this? All right, here goes nothing. Force Pitching Ponder. And I'm going to get blasted. Yep. Now we're going to trade Orc Armies. I'm still going to pass here. Playing a learn doesn't do anything for me. Our opponent attacks for one, we'll go to 16. They play a Brainstorm. No fetch land and they play an Underground Sea. Three mana for a Plague Engineer. Bring in the beats. They have six minutes and 50 seconds left on their clock. They chose Bird. I boarded out our Baleful Strix, so that works. Force of Will, not what I want at all. Okay. We don't have any Uros left in our deck. So that is on an out we have. Cavern Harpy. Is Cavern Harpy a bird nowadays? I don't actually know. But there is a website that would. Scryfall.com. Nope, it is a Harpy Beast. The name on Magic Online is correct. The actual paper version of the card just says Beast. So they're attacking for three. We'll go to ten. We draw Brainstorm. I'm going to pass for now. Our opponent is up to four cards in hand, six minutes on clock. They play land number five. We're at seven. Leovold. That's a good one. We will make some blue mana here. Let's try an Olaren. That resolved. Okay, I am going to pass. I can now flash in some creatures. They choose to attack. We'll play Leovold for free. Sudden Edict. I cannot counterspell that. Oh, I'm dead? Is that how that works? Wow, that's crazy. I've Okay, they found a way to kill me here, and I can't stop it. Holy moly. Yeah, okay, well, they got one game in five minutes done. They need to get game number three in that time. Wild. Maybe Carpet of Flowers isn't what the matchup is about, and that I should keep the Baleful Strixes in. Maybe we'll board out one Strix. I, I do think I like Endurance. Game three. A one lander. Well, Mulligan. This seems good to me. Keep. Question is, what do you bottom? I think it's the Cavern Harpy. Play Pluto Delta will pass. Our opponent with a turn one thought sees. Goodbye, Leovold. We draw an Endurance. That's a good one. Grab Tropical Island. And we'll play Baleful Strix. Ice Fang, but we're pretty far away from Death Touch on that. Force of Will, let's attack with the Strix. Hiya. Pass the turn. They do not have an Orcish Bowmasters on the end step. Three mana for a Plague Engineer. I think that's fine. They name Bird. On their end step, we will flash in Ice Fang Quaddle. Misty, okay. We could try to jam here. I mean, if our opponent doesn't have anything, we win the game. Let's fetch. And a learn. They force pitching brainstorm. I think me countering back would be a mistake. So I am not going to do that. At this point, we're playing for our opponent to time out. So I think forcing is just like kind of taking the wrong approach. Plus, we lose our cavern harpy. Thoughtsies. Yeah, that's a good one. They take the endurance. Okay. Land number three. We will now have Death Touch. That's cool. Attack with the Ice Fang. And then we can play Cavern Harpy. They're going to bolt the Coatl. That's fine. The Harpy will bounce itself. And we'll pass. They have two cards in hand. We'll take two down to 14. Snapcaster Mage. So... I think you're supposed to force this because it stops their clock, but also they would have Thoughtseize or Lightning Bolt. Like, I just don't think allowing that to resolve is a good move. So they're definitely ahead now. Uro? Nope, another land. We have to pass. 
Okay, things are not looking great here. Three minutes is enough time to attack seven times, so they might be able to squeak this one out. Bowmasters, okay. It's decent. They play land number five. Let's try to flash in the Bowmasters. They fetch in response. Is this a hard cast force of will? It looks like it is. Okay. So we'll take two going down to nine life. Uro. Sheesh. I think I'm going to pass. I'm going to hold the lands because we could have Brainstorm. Our opponent might respect the two cards in our hand as well. We will take two down to seven. Force of will. Okay. I have a lot of draws that get us out of this, but we have to draw something. I'm at five. Our draw step is another land. I'm going to pass. Our opponent attacks for two. We're going to fall to three. We know that they have Lightning Bolt in their deck. Oh, pretty please. Oh my god, so many lands. We kept a three lander. We are dead to a light breeze at this point. So this Plague Engineer will put us to one. We drew Brainstorm. I will cast it. Our opponent has Snapcaster Mage and a Lightning Bolt. Okay, well that will do it for the first round. Our opponent came back. They won five minutes for both post war games. Props to them. And we are 0-1 and one in this very long already legacy league. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two, we're on the play and we're facing someone who likes to play Storm Combo. Here we have five lands of Rep Decay. Definitely not. This, on the other hand, is a keep. <laughs> okay. I think you're supposed to bottom the Bowmasters. Verdant Catacombs pass. They play a Polluted Delta. We draw Brainstorm. We'll play out Pasaju. Pass the turn. We could still be Storm Combo. Our opponent doesn't know any better. Underground C. And they play a Ponder. Verda Catacombs. I think I'm going to hold the Ice Fang for a turn. I could flash it in, but our opponent might think that we're still Storm Combo. I'll pass. They grab a Tropical Island. And another Ponder. Underground C. Preordain. Okay. We're just going to draw. Alluren. Okay, pass the turn. If our opponent doesn't go for it on this turn, I'm probably going to flash in the Ice Fang Quaddle. I just don't want to reveal what we're playing until they make a move, but I might not have a choice. They grab Bayou and Preordain. Cabal Ritual, you've got it. Shield Dread the Apocalypse. Um, I don't think I'm going to allow that one to resolve. I think they're on the deck that Jax played today in the Legacy Challenge. We will force a will exiling Baleful Strix. They force a will pitching Dress down. Yeah, they're definitely playing the Jax deck. And we will force a will exiling Brainstorm. Bluster Storm. Okay, we cannot pay. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to force a will the Shield Red. Our opponent's very far ahead on this interaction. We have one card and two lands. They have two cards and four lands. I can't even cast the Baleful Strix. We have to pass the turn. They have land number five. Beseech the Mirror with no bargain. Okay. I guess we're going to play Baleful Strix the hard way. Underground C. Scrub Bayou. Play the Strix. Land number four. They play the One Ring. Sure. They draw a card. They have two cards left in hand at this point. I think I'm going to just play Aluren. No point in attacking. They have protection from everything. I wish that last card in my hand was a Cavern Harpy right now. Shield Red, sure. Okay. We will draw for turn. It's another land. Ay ay ay. I feel like we've flooded a lot so far in the league and it's only been a match and a half. We will pass. 
they'll now draw three cards. And Brainstorm will gain them six life. They have seven cards in hand. We are not winning this. Another land. I'm good to pick it up here. We are d sufficiently dead. That was brutal. I'm pretty sure we want the forces. Carpet's actually pretty good against Star Point just because they're such a slow storm deck. I think Null Rod is okay. I like the Endurance. I mean, I think we just want to become a control deck. Not as convinced about Force of Vigor, but let's see what the plan becomes. So part of me is like, do we just take out all of the con all of the combo? Like, do we take out Carpets? Or I'm sorry, take out the Alurans. We could bring in Carpets as well. Take out Cavern Harpy. People are going to be like, oh, I, I joined this channel to watch combo and now you're playing this? Yes. Uh, suck it up. So... I could board out some lands because we're boarding in four carpet. Also, I'll draw a million lands anyway. Board out a basic forest and a basic island maybe. And then I think we want to board out two Baleful Strix. We want to leave the Ice Fang Quaddles for green count. Let's try this out. Maybe carpet's also not good if I'm boarding out a Lurin, which I didn't consider. Against better judgment, I'm going to keep this. Verdant Catacombs pass. Included Delta into Ponder. We draw another Brainstorm. Let's play Besaju as a green source in a carpet. They're going to force it. Holy moly. Uh, yeah, that's fine, I guess. Sure. A little surprised by that, but carpet got to eat a force. That's good for us. They cast Brainstorm. Included Delta, Lotus Petal. They have four cards left in their hand. On their end step, I'm going to search out Underground Sea and cast Brainstorm ourselves. That was not very good. Let's just pass the turn. They play their own carpet, so it makes one mana. That's fine. It looks like they're going to switch phases. They can make a mana with the carpet. They make a green and cast Veil of Summer. Resolves. If you have the win, you have the win. They make a blue and a black. I mean, if it's Cabal Ritual Besiege the Mirror, we might just be dead. There's step one. Okay. So now they can get Guy's Will. Maybe I should un F6. Uh, because I could brainstorm into Endurance. They choose to grab the One Ring. Okay. Sure thing. On their end step, we will flash an Ice Fang Quaddle. We have drawn through our Brainstorm Lock. We hit our Land Drop. No point in attacking, because they have protection from everything. They're going to activate the One Ring in response to Flash and Orcish Bowmasters. And their card in hand was dressed down. I'm going to brainstorm in response. Well, we would have found the Endurance. That's kind of interesting. Okay, the dress down is going to happen. They now have four cards in hand. Three after the fetch land. Dark Ritual. And Shieldred. Okay, we have a really tough time beating Shieldred, and we did not find a Force of Will. So we're going to lose two life here. Play the island and let's cast Ponder. I think I want the Surgical. We will lose two life. And then we'll play Uro. We draw a card, gain three, but then we lose two, so we're plus one life. The upside here is that our Ice Fang Quaddle gains Death Touch. Our opponent goes to 13 life. They're going to activate the One Ring. In response, I think I want to exile Besiege the Mirror. So we'll get the one out of their graveyard. Okay. So if we can answer the Shield Dread, we might be in decent shape. So they're going to draw three. We're in a weird spot because we can't kill the Shield Dread. And they're going to gain six life. So we can make that six into a three. They drew Veil of Summer. That's unfortunate. Uh, turn off the auto yields. Target myself. Auto yield to theirs. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Turn off auto yields. No. I wanted to ping my own orc army so it would grow. That was a mistake. I set it up wrong. The triggers. Mistake on my part. Because this could have been a 5-5 here. Unfortunate. Our opponent up to 24 life. They have a carpet of flowers. That doesn't matter. And another Ponder. 
Yeah, this could have been a 6-6 six, six orc army. It was really costing me here. All right, we're going to lose two from the Uro. And then we're going to escape Uro. Carpet's fine, but we can't really use it at the moment. And then we'll pass the turn. Our opponent loses three to their own copy of the One Ring. We'll target Shieldred. Okay, so if they draw another card this turn, their Shieldred will die. Our opponent has eight cards in hand, which is wild. Sure, Thought sees me. Dress down. I mean, if they have the Tendrils of Agony, I'm probably dead. Looks like they do. There was only one in their deck, and they didn't have any tutors. So if they drew it, I mean, that's magic sometimes. This is a Tendrils for five? That puts me dead to the Shield Dread on my draw step. I don't have any ways of gaining life at instant speed. Bummer. And we're dead. Okay, so we are zero and two. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Okay, we're down 0-2, but let's get some wins. We're on the draw in match number three. Pun has Volcanic Island. I remember them as a Delver player in the past. Activate Polluted Delta. Grab Basic Island and let's cast Ponder. I like all of these. We will keep. Pass that turn. Our opponent plays a basic island and then passes the turn back to us. We'll just play a land and do the same. Violent Outburst. I'm going to respond by casting Brainstorm. So they're on Rhinos, obviously. I don't think Endurance is good here, so I want to put that back. I'm also not a huge fan of the Abrupt Decay. I think I'm supposed to try to counter the Crashing Footfalls because... While we have a win with Alluring Cavern Harpy Bowmasters, I'd have to find Uro before we died. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to counter here. And they counter back. Okay. I did what I could. So now they're going to attack for 8, putting me to 10. We don't want the top card of our deck, so we're going to fetch that away. Let's grab Bayou. We drew another fetch land. Bummer! Okay... So we're dead to pretty much anything here. Our one out is that I get the block with the orc token, and then we draw exactly Uro. Okay, and now a block with the orc token. So we have to draw Uro here, and they just have fire eyes. Okay. I think this deck, my honest assessment, is that there's too many lands. Like... I just feel like every game we're flooding. Like, obviously, the game one, match one, I uh, only drew the two lands that were in my opening hand for way too late, but I just feel like every game I end up with, like, seven or eight lands. Endurance is not good in this matchup. Neither is Abrupt Decay. We could take those both out. I don't think our board is very good in this matchup. Like, Force and Negation's okay, I guess, but that might be it. Maybe a couple copies of Carpet of Flowers? We'll try this. On the playing game number two. Sure, why not? Burning Catacombs will pass. They play a Wooded Foothills. Cavern Harpy, okay. Volcanic Island in Wooded Foothills for Tropical Volcanic Minskin Boo. I'm going to attempt a Force of Negation on that. And let's exile Cavern Harpy. I feel like I'm pretty far away from winning. They force back. We will counter back. And then we'll fetch. I don't think I'm going to bother with basics here. I mean, I could. But I feel like it might just be a mistake. And then I'm going to flash in the Ice Fang. Another land. We'll ponder. It's pretty good. Brainstorm. Get rid of the Snow-Covered Forest. We'll put Bowmasters on top for now. And then we can attack for one. They have land number three. Shardless Agent into Rhinos. I'm going to probably counter the Rhinos here. 
I don't even think Boatmasters is good. Their deck doesn't draw cards. It like trades with a Charlotte's agent, but I don't think that's what the game is really about. I think I messed up there. I was supposed to grab Bayou. Because if I draw a Learn and can't cast it, that's my own fault. And then we'll play Cavern Harpy, pick up the Ice Fang, pass the turn. We'll take two. Another Cascade spell? Yeah, that's pretty good. We're in trouble. This deck is very powerful. Brainstorm. We'll play the Ice Fang. I have 12 power on board already. Leobold is not helpful here. I think we're dead. Put these two back. I don't have another Tropical to fetch for or with this Misty Rainforest. So I can't end step Brainstorm off the Misty. Well, like we could fetch Bayou, but that doesn't do it. So I think I'm actually just dead here. Yeah, there's no winning line. So I could theoretically, like, I could try to stay alive. Like, I could throw Cavern Harpy or whatever in front of Charlotte's Agent. But I go to a life total so low that even if I ripped a Lurin, I don't have the life total to Cavern Harpy bounce my Ice Fang a number of times. And I can't fetch with the Misty. So there's a number of things that went wrong here. And we are not 0-3. This league not looking so hot at the moment. But I'd really like to be able to do the thing with a Lurin. So we're going to keep on playing it out. Ugh, it's been a rough one. I'll see you in match number four. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four. We're on the draw. I think you're supposed to keep hands like this. We'll keep... So I, I do have a rule on the channel, and I'd like to say it before we get too far in and not... I mean, I'm probably going to look salty either way, but the general rule is I don't play round five if I'm 0 4. And I'd really like it if we got to, you know, uh, do the thing. Am I supposed to endurance this? Probably not. We'll let the loan go. Let's take our draw. It's a learn, which is great. Okay. Grab the basic and we'll cast ponder. That's literally everything we could want. I'm going to pass the turn. I could Endurance just to get rid of life from the Loam, but I'd rather them waste their turn trying to Loam than anything else. Map, that's fine. And they don't even want a life from the Loam. We draw the Uro. We'll play the land and pass. We know that we have land number four on top of our deck, which is something I'm very interested in. They use the map. They reveal Urza's Saga. Okay. You've got it. They've already played their land for turn. Sure, you can have those. And our upkeep, are they going to use the Rashad and Port? They are. We'll draw the basic forest on top of our deck. And we can pass the turn. Okay, Saga ticks up to two. They play Savannah. If they don't port, we have the win. But that feels pretty unlikely. Okay, they are going to port. Unfortunate. We need to draw a fifth mana source. That is not it. We will pass. Our opponent creates a construct. Let's fetch in response. Okay. This way we don't have to worry ourselves with something like Pithing Needle on our fetch land. They grab another Mox Diamond, which will turn their constructs into four fours. I'm kind of hoping that they cast Life from the Loam. And then in response to the Life from the Loam, we can Endurance. And then they miss their land drop, and then we can play a Lurin. That would be nice. Here goes nothing. Endurance. I would like to be able to endure or be able to a Lurin combo once this league. Our one win was by being a being a control deck. And they have the Pistagio anyway. Deck I'm asking you. Please let me draw a land. You dr you've drawn tons of them throughout this entire league. Give me a land. Okay, there we go. Finally. Aluren. So, a fun fact about Aluren, by the way, and who doesn't love fun facts, is that you can... Um, okay, here's the fun fact. Aluren is done by April Lee. April Lee has only done three cards in all of Magic the Gathering. It's Aluren, Intuition, and Lotus Petal. How crazy is that? 
And now we have the loop to gain infinite life, all that good stuff. We'll show them the Orcish Bowmasters to kill them. We'll just cast the Ice Fangs as well. Okay, I'll pay a life and return the Cavern Harpy. And now we'll Uro again. You always click the Sacrifice trigger first. And now we'll return the Uro. And our opponent concedes. Thank you, opponent. This is how a learn wins. How about that? We finally got to do it. We probably want Force of Vigor. Endurance seems okay. Force of Negation is good versus life from the loam. So surgical. I don't think Abrupt Decay is very good. So we'll get those out of the deck. I wonder if this is too much graveyard hate between Surgicals and Endurances. and Maybe Endurance isn't where we want to be. Requiring two cards to beat a life from the loam. Probably shave on a... Actually, Orcish Bowmasters is not very good in the matchup. We could probably cut those down. Maybe keep two of those. Leovold isn't great either. Let's try this. Our opponent is mulliganed in game two. We've opened up a reasonable hand. We'll try this. Rashad and Port mocks Diamond. And they're passing with three cards. Let's search out a basic island and then cast Ponder. Ponder on the stack. I suppose these are fine. I'm not crazy about it, but... Wasteland. Crucible of Worlds. I think I'm going to allow that. We'll pass the turn. They play an Urza's Saga, sure. Let's go grab the basic forest and Ice Fang Quaddle. Triggers another Ice Fang. Are you going to try to port me? They do. We'll flash in another Ice Fang Quaddle. Bowmasters. I don't think I'm supposed to play the Bayou into their wasteland for no reason. We'll attack with the Ice Fang, and then I think we just like discard the Uro Titan of Nature's Wrath. Oh no, I misclicked. Ah, oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Whoops. That's awkward. Don't love that. Can't take me anywhere. I am so sorry. I mean, Bowmasters is not very good in the matchup, but that was definitely not intentional. Our island has become tapped. See, this could have been a Flash and Bowmasters turn. Our opponent's going to create a construct. They float mana and then activate... They, they're they not activating, they're just searching with the Saga. They grab another Mox Diamond. Urza's Saga, sure. They copy Urza's Saga. And now we get hit for four. We go down to 14. They tap our island, surprise, surprise. So we've drawn the other forest, which means that I can fetch for a blue source with this Verdant Catacombs. It's a, basically like a Lotus Petal here, but it gives us the opportunity to dig for the Alluren. Sure, my land has been destroyed. We're going to shuffle this. And let's Surgical the Wastelands. We have Ghost Quarter. Sheesh. I think I'm dead. Yeah, okay, we can go to the next one. They're going to start Ghost Quartering my basics away. And I already have both forests in place, that's a little weird. Okay. Let's try it again. Game number three, double Cavern Harpy. I don't think I like this. We'll mulligan. This is better. I think I'm actually going to get rid of the Force of Vigor, which seems nuts, but I don't want to have to pitch my Alluren. So that is my thought process here. Play Polluted Delta and then we'll pass. Horizon Canopy into Crop Rotation. I'm going to force this. It might be greedy, but this seems like a play that could work out for us. A secret to, I mean, that was obviously not ideal. A secret to lands is that their mana base is actually pretty terrible. And if you can punish them in those sort of situations, it can really work out for you long term. Okay, I like the draw of Brainstorm. Let's search out Basic Island and cast it. Two more lands, okay. I don't hate this. Maze of Ith. Sphere. Okay. We're going to redraw the Brainstorm, and then we'll pass. The Legend Roll Yavamaya. I'm going to respond to this. So we will search out the Basic Swamp. Cast Brainstorm. I don't think we want either of these, so we're going to put those back. Sure. Shuffle with Misty Rainforest. We'll grab Basic Forest. Force of Negation. 
That changes it a little bit because I can now counter the life from the loam on the way back. So I'm, I'm not going to tap out for a lure, and I was going to. They did not dredge. Interesting. Three mana. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to counter that. It costs four. We'll pay the tax. Draw for turn. It's a forcible. I cannot hard cast this underneath Sphere of Resistance. So I am going to just play the Alluren. A third Sphere of Resistance. Why are you like this, opponent? Why? Did you not receive enough hugs as a kid? Why would you want to be like this? Come on. Or best draws like an Uro, I think. I'm not even sure if that's true. They go after our basic island. Let's go grab another. Another Alluren. Well, we'll pass here. They dredge. They legend roll again. I don't think we can realistically win with this. So I'm going to counter and hope that it buys some time for us. Like, how am I supposed to win with Cavern Harpy against Double Sphere? Ay ay ay. They did not dredge. Dark Depths. And a map. Okay. Force of Vigor. That's actually not bad. That gives me the chance to win. I'd have to draw something that works with Cavern Herpy, but that's pretty good. Our opponent has three mana here. Play from the Loam. They play Nurse's Saga. So this is a great window. If I can draw into something that wins with Cavern Herpy, we can win. Because our opponent tapped off of white mana as well. So we saw that they boarded in Swords to Plowshares, but they don't have white mana available. Please, Doc. Pretty please. Let's fetch to Thin. Increase our odds just a little bit. Grab Bayou. Come on. No! We'll Surgical their stages. Try to buy some time. They have Torpor Orb in their deck. Maybe I missed that in game two? We'll pass the turn. I'm really trying to win a match here. It just it, The deck doesn't want to win. Urza Saga goes up to two counters. They play another Urza Saga. Crucible of Worlds. We'll draw. Ponder's a good one. Well, let's play that. No way. Nothing off a of Ponder? So we could take the Brainstorm, but I think that's actually a trap. Because you get to see one new card. But with Ponder, you get to shuffle this and look at a random card anyway. And if you miss, you're not deep into the hole. So yes, I will shuffle. Ay ay ay. Nothing can go right. Our opponent makes a construct. Saga is going to go to three counters. They make another construct. They grab Mox Diamond. They make another construct. Okay. So I feel like our opponent is forgetting about the line where they can just use Expedition Map to go get Besaju and then destroy my Luren, not giving me an opportunity to win this game. But we get one more draw step here. I will fetch to thin. Come on, pretty please. Brainstorm. So you're saying there's a chance. Well, that could win. We'll play Uro. And then with its ability on the stack, we'll flash in Cavern Harpy. And they had the swords. And I'm a dummy. I stacked my Brainstorm wrong. I'm pretty sure we're drawing a land here. Cavern Harpy will return itself. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm drawing a land like an idiot. Uh, if this was the, what is it called, Baleful Strix on top of our deck, I, I'm not saying I would have won, but I would have had an opportunity. Oh, that's so painful that, I, I mean, this is my fault. Like, truly, I'm not blaming the deck for this. Uh, this is my own fault here. And our opponent has lethal on board. Okay, I mean, this was a brutal league. I mean, I definitely threw one of the matches, and then... I feel like the deck kind of just got ran over. Um, like I mentioned, I don't play round fives if I've gone 04. So I do think that Alluren received a huge upgrade with Orcish Bowmasters to win with Uro very cleanly. Because when you're, you don't have to play things like Parasitic Strix or whatever, the deck gets a huge upgrade just because you're not playing bad cards in your deck. And consolidating cards is always great. And when you're watching our channel, some people will say, like, why don't you play this card? And it's like a really fringe thing that only does one thing really well. Cards like Orcish Bowmasters that do a lot of things very well tend to be a little bit 
better overall, even though they're less good at specific things, which might sound a little bit rambly, but I, hopefully you know what I mean. I'm sorry that I didn't do any better with the learn. I really am. I mean, I did, accidentally threw the last match. I feel terrible about it, but hopefully you found something fun in the video for you. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great day and keep storming. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com decklist.